Life cycle of a fern polypodium plant. Ferns. Ferns are the simple plants, for example, polypodium plant that is known as an ornamental plant and also the adiantum plant that is grown on the edges of the wells and shaded streams. The life cycle of polypodium starts with the sporophyte that is differentiated into transverse roots, subterranean stems called rhizome and green leaves. There are on the lower surface of its leaves a group of sporangia called sori. This sporangia containing numerous diploid spore cells, which are symbolized by 2N. Each spore cell divides meiotically to form four haploid spores N. On the spore's maturation, they are released from the sporangia and carried by the wind to far distances. When the spore falls on a wet soil, it germinates, forming several cells that differentiate into a flat body in the form of heart shape, called the gametophyte. The gametophyte carries rhizoids on its lower surface that penetrate the soil to absorb water and salts, and on the anterior region of its lower surface, the genital organs, gonads, grow and they are two types which are male organs called antheridia and the female organs called archegonia. After maturation, the male gametes are released from antheridia known as ciliated sperms that swim over the soil water till they reach the mature archegonia to fertilize the egg, forming the zygote which is deployed to N. The zygote divides mitotically to form a new sporophyte that grows over the gametophyte and depends on it for a short time till it develops its own roots, stem, and leaves. And the gametophyte starts to degenerate while the sporophyte grows to repeat the life cycle. So the life cycle of polypodium is considered a typical example for the phenomenon of alternation of generations, where there is a deployed sporophyte phase to N that reproduces asexually by spores and alternates with a haploid gametophyte phase that reproduces sexually by gametes. Thank <laughs> you.